So hello everybody. I decided to not regale you with my amazing fruit ninja skills. I hope you don't mind. But anyway, who needs to know how to hack up a pineapple, right? And this right here is the, well, I'm just going to eat a piece. You guys just sit there quietly and wonder at things. Mm-hmm. Florida land race. Mm-hmm. Well, and there's going to be a, a beautiful new plant right there. Mm-mm-mm. I can tell you now, much less acid than your standard store pineapple. Oh, really good after flavor. Mmm, really good. This one was completely 100% plant ripened. Can't describe it as anything but pineapple flavor. I mean, trying to suss out all the little nuanced flavors in there for you guys, but honestly, pineapple is pretty unique. You normally say other things taste like pineapple, you know? Mmm. This is good. This is actually my first time trying this variety. And I will say, out of scale of 10, store pineapples would be about a five. Store pineapples can be pretty good. They haven't ruined the pineapples yet. This, ripening it on the plant, growing it myself, this is completely different flavor just that sweet there's no acid there's no burning there's no underripe oxalates you know tickling your throat this is just pure sweet awesome pineapple flavor really good guys really good this was a fairly small fruit it was actually a really small plant. They get three, four times that size. But this pineapple was actually part of my forced fruiting experiment with pineapples. And I think it actually did force it to fruit because it fruited much smaller and had a very round fruit. I have a couple Florida land races that are fruiting for me now that are three, four times the size of this plant and the fruits themselves are comparable, three, four times the size. So I think that the forced fruiting experiment actually did affect this quite a bit, which I still need to do an update on that and I'll have to refer you guys to this video because I had to eat this pineapple before I made that update. But, wow. Yeah, that is... And I have 20-something varieties of pineapples. And just like you can't compare white pineapples and yellow pineapples, it's unfair comparing this to a store pineapple because the flavors and the sweetness are just so different. But anyway, zero acid, guys. True pineapple flavor. Super sweet. Nice golden yellow there. Absolutely beautiful. And you saw the color of the rind. Completely ripened up. Starting to turn that reddish orange. Mmm. 
That is good. Oh yeah. Perfect. So, besides the flavor of this pineapple, you're wondering what makes it so special. I have made a video on it before when this fruit was ripening up. These guys fruit naturally really fast for pineapples. Normally, pineapple takes anywhere from two to, you know, X amount of years. Some of them take four or five years to fruit. Some of the larger types. But even normally, the store pineapple varieties, the MD2 and the Smooth Cayenne, ones like that, those take two, three years to fruit on their own without being forced. This Florida Land Race, which I think I just said in the other video, was once very common throughout Florida here easily fruits within 12 to 15 months and if you take care of it 12 months you can have ripe pineapple very easily I only say 12 to 15 because most people take pineapples throw them in a spot and just leave them there nothing wrong with that but if you do care for them they do fruit naturally a little bit faster than this guy mm. But yes, that top right there, which is fairly large, it's hard to tell in the video. You know, that's a big top, guys. That's the size of a full grown plant. Or it's as big as the plant that this pineapple came off of already. This will fruit next year for me, no problem. I'm going to go pot it up, and she'll fruit beautifully. I actually fruit these really well in one gallon pots. Huge plants in one gallon pots, but they fruit awesome in one gallon pots. But definitely a pineapple to check out, guys. Not just for the flavor, Ooh, excuse me, but because they do naturally fruit so much quicker than other varieties. And yes, I mean, that is a really good pineapple. The core is edible. Ooh, getting away from me there. Nice edible core on it. And, mm. Mm -mm -mm. sorry if you can hear mouth, uh, mouth sounds in the background here. Oh, that's good. That's actually, outside of the white pineapples, which I'm not going to compare this to a white pineapple, because again, they have completely different flavors. No exaggeration, guys. This is this is the best pineapple I've ever had. Really, really good. Mm. Florida Land Race pineapple, guys. You can grow it in pots anywhere. I'm actually gonna make a video on all the things that I have that can be grown in pots to be able to produce mountains of food even if you don't have the property of the land do it in pots guys you can do it i'll make a video for you on that but these do really well in pots they fruit really quickly they taste amazing unfortunately they are extremely rare i was very very lucky to get hold of a slip of this variety years ago and as far as I know, there's only one place to get them, and that place does not give them out. They're very stingy, which is the USDA Tropical Research Station in Hawaii there, I think on Honolulu, where they keep a fairly large collection of pineapple cultivars. But they unfortunately, and I have been in contact with them, they don't share. <laughs> they don't share. Very rude, by the way, and being in contact with them, people I dealt with, which is a shame. You know, you pay them, you know, they use tax dollars, and they don't share the pineapples they have. Ugh, people, right? But anyway, 
I did manage to get hold of this variety. It was very hard to do that. But, oh yes, I'm very happy that I did. It does not sucker very well. And the slips that it does produce, the ones that off the pineapple, you got the crown. And then I think you saw in the picture the little babies on it. I think I had four of those I broke off. So off one plant, I now have five plants. And it is replacing itself. So it's not a very fast way to propagate, of course. But it's the only way I have. And I don't like tissue culture. Hmm. So, very rare. But I'm hoping to make many more of these guys and possibly share them with you. If you're interested in one, I'll probably put a couple up on eBay or maybe my information down below. I'll let a couple go. But definitely worth growing. Amazing, delicious pineapple. Very unfair to compare this to a store pineapple. You just can't. The comparison is just... Mm. And hey, there, guys. It's hands down. Gosh, it's just fruity and pineapple-y. Mm. Amazing pineapple, guys. I'm going to let you go. I'm going to finish this. The video is long enough. I hope your mouth is watering because this is a freaking good pineapple, guys. And the only way you get that right there, that amazing, amazing tasting pineapple that you just spent 13 minutes of your life watching me consume and talk about, is if you grow it. Maybe you can. I don't know. Delicious pineapple, guys. Grow food, especially fruit. You can grow root crops. You can grow grains if you want, but you got to grow fruit, guys. you got to. And pineapples, mmm. They're one of those prime fruits, you know what I mean? And by that, they're a base flavor. Other things can taste like pineapple, but nothing tastes like pineapple. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> pineapple is the king of fruits for a reason, guys. That's why they got them crowns. They can imitate, but they ain't the real thing. Beautiful crown, by the way. Beautiful, beautiful crown. My trusty, dusty pruners I've had for 20-something years. They don't make them like that anymore. Mmm. See you later, guys. Florida Land Race. Top, top, top tier for flavor and deliciousness. And fruiting. Can't beat that. Grow food, guys. You know, keep watching my videos. I know they're crappy as can be. But I love you guys for sticking with me. Over 400 of you. God, thank you. I will give you all a pineapple. <laughs> See you later, guys. See you later. Love you.